Hi, it's Steve from EFI Hardware and welcome to our series of short technical videos. This video is the second of a multi-part series dedicated to different types of throttle linkages, how they're fitted and how they're calibrated. In this video we'll be featuring a jointer balancer linkage which is commonly used in four-cylinder multi-throttle applications. It has a number of key features. First, it couples two shafts together and enables calibration between the two. It has an idle stop, a full throttle stop, a return spring mechanism and a cable pulley all in one package. So let's go now to setting and calibrating them. So now we'll show you how to fit and calibrate one of these linkages. So here we have one half of our throttle set already fitted with the throttle stop linkage. For any information regarding fitting and calibrating throttle stops, please see our previous video on throttle stop linkages as we'll be skipping this step in this video. In this scenario, we're also fitting a cable holder linkage. We've fitted our throttle stop and we've cut the shaft flush accordingly. So let's go to the female part of the linkage. Already, we've dummied up, measured and cut the shaft on this throttle body so that there's a one mil gap between the two shafts when they're fitted to the manifold. So to fit the female linkage, first of all we've got a couple of procedures to do first and that's to set the adjuster. To do this, we set the adjuster so that the linkage is just flush with the bottom. Then we rotate the adjuster one, two, three, four full turns and this sets it at the midway position. So at this point we need to adjust the throttle stop so that it's all the way backed off and the butterfly is actually closing on the bore temporarily. So the next step is to couple the two linkages of our throttles together and fit them to the manifold. So at this point we have to make sure that we've got our front throttles butterflies completely closed and then we tighten the clamping bolts of our female linkage to the shaft. So at this point both throttles are fully closed and the adjuster is halfway set. So now the next step is to adjust the throttle idle control linkage until it engages with the throttle stop and then open it one full turn. Our throttles are now set to go back onto the engine and have further calibration with a synchrometer. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out our other videos at our website www.efihardware.com and YouTube channel EFI Hardware. Thanks for watching.